Good snap, ball right through Costa's hands. Going to pick it up front. I have to go for two now, being pressured. He's a quarterback and will step out of bounds. Costa might be hurt. He's down. Costa is down. I really wish I would have caught the snap in the first place, but, uh, you know, for some reason I didn't. And uh, from there, I was kind of just rolling out, trying to make a play, and kind of planted on my right leg. And I uh, felt a twist and kind of a crunch and a little pot mixed in there, and it hurt a lot. It was a pretty excruciating pain, pain I've never really felt before with my knee injuries. And in that moment that only spanned a few seconds, Oregon senior quarterback Nate Costa's collegiate career ended. This time, it's his right knee that has fallen victim. You know, just one of those things, why did I decide to, you know, bobble that one? And, and why did I roll out that way and why did it happen? But, you know, you keep questioning yourself and you can do it forever, but... You know, the simple fact is I need to just get this thing fixed and, and make myself better for the future. Surgery is in the near future and Costa declined to get into the details on the nature of the damage to his knee, but indicated that it's more extensive than the three ACL tears that he suffered to his left knee during his playing career. One in high school and two at Oregon. One that may still sting cost him the chance to replace Dennis Dixon as Oregon starter in 2007. Then only a year later, another denied him the starting job during fall camp. He was a sentimental favorite to win the start this season, but was beat out by Darren Thomas. But it's what Costa does outside the lines that makes him such an invaluable leader of this team. Still our captain. Uh, he means a lot to all of our players, and he's really an inspiration on, on everything he's done. And he's had a lot of adversity since he's been here, but you know, he won't let that affect him. Uh, and it's a real compliment to him. And we're, we're just fortunate that we've been around, we've had the opportunity to be around him. But he's, he's one of the truly great leaders I've been around. Not much you can say. He just gave me one of those looks that, you know, that say a thousand words all, all in one and just kind of, you know, he's got a little sympathy for me, but he understands the situation and he knows that, you know, I'm a tough guy and I'll be fine. You know, in the end, I'm going to prevail and I'm going to persevere through this. So just one of those things, I just got to keep going. And that was his message when he addressed the team before Tuesday's practice, leaving a lasting impression, some taking it harder than others. You know, he gave us a little a little spiel here before practice, let us know what's going on, and uh, told us to go get the Bears. And, and uh, you know, it was great to hear from him. Um, I think that, that impacted a lot of us. Just want to go out there for him and win this game. Yeah, it's devastating, man. And uh, like I said, uh, his story and, and what has happened to him already here, and uh, for, for as good as the uh, backup quarterback that he was for our team, you know, it hurts our team a lot. So, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're definitely going to miss him a lot, and, uh, you know, hopefully he can uh, recover pretty quick. For them to have sympathy for me, you know, it means a lot. I don't want them to have too much sympathy for me to where they take their mind off the task at hand, but uh, it means a lot to them thinking about me. Costa has served as the Ducks' reserve quarterback and primary holder in placements the last two seasons. Who can forget the hold at Arizona last year? And the game at Washington State, where Costa stepped in for an injured Thomas, completed 13 of 15 passes for 151 yards and one score, in addition to an 18-yard touchdown run and finished his collegiate career having attempted 71 passes for 556 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. He rushed for 195 yards and three scores. His only start came a year ago in a 24-10 win at UCLA. Oregon loses the luxury of having a veteran backup to Thomas. True freshman Brian Bennett jumped into the number two spot. And obviously Brian, you know, is now backing him up and and uh, you know that's that's a, a strange situation. Brian's been richer in the whole year, and obviously we don't want him to have to come in. But I know that Brian's the type of player. He's a big time player, and, and if he is put in that situation, he'll do a great job as well. Nate has already completed his degree in sociology and has been doing an internship at the Springfield Police Department, and would like to pursue a career in law enforcement. He said he may even stay local. But first thing is first. Nate is scheduled to have surgery on that right knee in the next couple of weeks, and he says once he's back to functioning normally, he'll have a chance to go chase out after the bad guys. And as Costa has said on more than one occasion, that life is still an unwritten story and we'll have to wait to see how it all unfolds. While the story on his playing career is finished, him as a leader is still being written.